This is like one fruity candy that, boom, goes right up there. I don't know why it exists. It shouldn't exist, but it's an experience. I'm currently getting nauseous as I talk about this topic. And welcome back to Nice Try. Today we're doing something a little bit different here for a special Halloween episode. Got my costume all on here. And uh, we're going to be rating all of the classic Halloween candies and some things that aren't technically candy, which will be docked points for not being candy. But we're going to go through it and uh, just give my opinions, let you know what I think, give some thoughts, because I have some uh, pretty heated opinions when it comes to Halloween candy. So without further ado, we're going to jump in. But real quick, let me say if any of your favorite candies are on here and I rate them poorly or you think I should rate one more highly or you hate one that I think is really great. You're wrong, I'm sorry, this is the definitive list. We are of course kidding, uh, of course, uh, you are welcome to your own opinions, I have mine, and they by no means are the official list, but I'm gonna have fun with this. We'll start off here, go in alphabetical order for most of these. Every candy is gonna be included, that'd be insane. I did one of these for Gen 1 Pokemon, which is 151 things, and it took like an hour. I'm gonna try and keep it a little trimmer than that, I found a list that had most of the big ones that I'm looking for. Well, I guess we gotta talk about the tier list first. We got our god tier, self-explanatory, excellent, great, good, bad, gross, and hat. Used to be hate, but I uh, got rid of the E for employment opportunities. No, uh, hat is uh, the hot ass trash tier. You got your WAP, you got your hat. Uh, yeah, if anything's in here, it's disgusting. I don't want anything to do with it. It is worse than gross. Just uh, if you give this out to children, I think you're actually a monster. And uh, we'll see what makes it into that category. Airheads, they're good. They're fine. I mean, there's a bunch of different flavors. They're all basically the same. Uh, very, very like sugary texture you can really feel that on the tongue but some of the flavors are pretty good they turn your tongue blue with some of them the the white mystery flavor which i think was like a, a pineapple-y kind of kind of taste i like that one they're fine they're totally fine almond joy nobody likes almond joy jeffrey Dahmer. that's it he's the only one <sighs> mixed feelings on almond joy i like i, I I like the almond part of it, I really do, and I like the coconut, but like, it's basically the mounds, it's, it's, like, it's like mounds if you put almond in it, but also make it milk chocolate and not, not dark chocolate, which it loses points for. So I think it's kind of, it's it's good, it's fine. If it was dark chocolate, I'd like it better, just that's my own personal preference, but it, it's fine. Uh, Andes, okay, look, Andes are excellent, they're an excellent candy. They're not a Halloween candy, so they're getting bumped down them down to great you get those after uh dinner at like olive garden and stuff like that you know that, that's where you get your andy's candy and that's uh that's how i feel about that you don't get that for halloween that's weird that's weird uh bit of honey they're just bad like they're, they're fine like if there was a fine tier it'd be classically at fine but they're, they're just kind of bad they're boring and just yeah i don't, I don't care for them black licorice hot ass trash you might disagree. This is a, one of our first most controversial ones, I'm sure, is people that love black licorice should love black licorice, and everyone else can't stand it because it tastes like a chemical. It's, it's terrible. I don't know why it exists. It shouldn't exist. Not the worst candy ever. Like, I could eat it if forced to. I wouldn't enjoy it, but, like, I, I wouldn't throw up. Like, maybe some other of these, but, yeah, hot ass trash. Uh, Blue Pops. Bad, honestly. It's too much work. The gum's pretty gross. Like, why would you not just eat a lollipop then chew gum it's like you're getting a worse lollipop a lollipop's actually pretty fine but you're getting a, an okay lollipop that then has a really rough inside because of all the uh like stuff inside the, the rock solid gum in there that you end up licking which is going to cut your tongue it can't actually literally cut your tongue i've cut my tongue on a blow pop before uh so yeah it's bad it's bad it's not gross because it actually tastes pretty good but it's just bad because of just the the, the work and effort and the combination effects it's, it's, yeah uh butterfingers that's kind of between great and excellent for me. It's a very unique texture. I think I'm going to put it in excellent just because of how unique it is. Like the flavor profile of it, you know, it, it's not that different. It's definitely a little unique, but like it's that texture where you get like, it like slides off and like slates. If you've seen like, what is the, the, the rock that does that? I feel there's like a rock that slides off like that. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it, it does that and it, it's interesting. It's definitely, it, it gets unique points, which takes it from great to excellent. Uh, caramel, it's good. It's just boring though. That's so boring. You, you can't say it tastes bad. Caramel like objectively doesn't taste bad. If you don't like caramel, I guess you could disagree. But objectively, it's just a fine candy. It, it's good enough. It's not a great Halloween candy, I guess. Actually, it's, it's such a bad Halloween candy to get that I'm gonna bump it down to bad. Plus like the amount that you're getting for like the effort you have to unwrap these things, just ridiculous. Hershey's Cookies and Cream. All right, look, this is gonna ruffle some feathers. I think it's gross. I, I, I understand objectively that it's not gross. I just don't care for that flavor. 
I, I, I could see it. It's not like, it doesn't offend me, but I personally don't think it's good. Crunch. Crunch is good. It doesn't have too much going for it, but it's like more exciting than just a regular chocolate bar. You got the crispy rice. I do like the crispy rice. It's just like, I get bored with a crunch bar. You know, the first few bites, I'm like, yeah, I'm about this. And you get like halfway through and you're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. You get to the end and you're like, yeah, I don't really want another one. It's, that was a crunch bar. That was good. Doritos, you're not a candy. You get gross. All right, look, people love their Doritos. I don't like Doritos. I hate the dusty cheesiness of it. It just, it grosses me out and it's not a candy. So it would have gone from bad, just from me not caring for Doritos to gross because it's not a holding candy. It's not a candy at all. Get out of here. Dots, hot ass trash. I don't know what these are supposed to be. They're like, what if we took a gummy, made it harder and took out all the flavor? That's what a dot is. It's disgusting. Why? Like they're, they're gross. The only positive part about a dots is that it's very fun to shake the box. And if that's all the candy has going for it, it it's hot ass trash. Hot ass trash, get out of my sight. Dum Dums, they're not bad. I was gonna put them in bad after saying it, but they're not bad, but they're not exciting either. They're pretty, they're an okay Halloween candy. They're pretty good Halloween candy. I think just the sheer quantity of flavor and variety that comes with Dum Dums, I think that gets them a bump up. Uh, fun Dip, Fun Dip is great. Uh, it's not actually a candy that I like that much, the taste of it and everything, but it's just, it's fun. It's right there in the name. They really did nail it with Fun Dip. It's fun to eat, it's unique. They give you just a, a block of sugar, essentially, to then lick and stick into more sugar and then eat. And that sugar actually has flavor. It turns your tongue's crazy colors. It, it's, it's just fun to do. Huge mess, potentially get all of your hands. If the dust spills, God forbid it does, your mother will kill you. Um, but it's just, it's just unique enough. Fun Dip is an experience. Let's put it that way. Fun Dip's an experience more than just a candy, you know? And that, that gives it something. Gobstoppers, bad, just bad. They're boring. They don't have that much flavor. They take forever to eat because they're supposed to be the everlasting gobstopper. They don't last forever. Albeit these do not claim to be everlasting, I don't think. They're just regular gobstoppers, but it's just not good. It's, just, it's fine. It's just not exciting, not doing anything for me. Good and plenty is gross. I'm not sure what these are. I'm still not convinced that they're not actually medicine. They look like medicine. Like if you told me that's a, a box for Benadryl, an off-brand Benadryl called Good and Plenty, I'd believe you. And I would take it when I have an allergic reaction. Now that's what Good and Plenty's look like and taste like as far as I remember. Mr. Good Bar. Honestly, Personally, I think it's great. I, I, it's the right quantity of peanuts to chocolate ratio to like be good, have a different texture, but also not be overpoweringly peanutty. Um, I think it's really good. I, that's just my one of my personal favorites, one that I enjoyed getting. I guess though, I always eat the small ones. I never ate like a big Mr. Good bar. So maybe your ratios change when and, like you get tired of it maybe if you have a bigger one. But I, I, think, I think Mr. Good bar is great. These little gummy patties. Honestly, the only thing that these have going for them is like a little bit of uniqueness. And so I'm gonna put them in good just because like they're fine gummies. They're not any better than any other gummies. It's a very small quantity of candy for the packaging, like for what you're getting, but it's fun, you know, like eating the pickles. It, it, it doesn't taste like pickle. It's, it's kind of fun. Each like layer has its own slightly different flavors, but it gets unique points. Otherwise it'd be in bad. Heath, Heath, Heath they're pretty good. I think that I just, they're too hard. I, I, I just always found that they were too hard and it hurt my teeth because I've had very sensitive teeth, uh, but they're, they're good, they're fine, you know. I think that they can go well, like mixed into cookies and such like that, and like some heat ice cream can be really good, but as, as a Halloween candy, it's fine. Uh, Hershey's chocolate bar, just a regular plain old Hershey's chocolate bar, bad. It's just bad, like it's not, again, not objectively bad. It, it doesn't taste bad, but it's just lame. It loses points because it's just boring. It's too boring, it's lame, not a fan. Jolly Ranchers, honestly, when I was a child, I would have put Jolly Ranchers as great. I've grown out of them a little bit since, but I think as a Halloween candy, they're pretty good. The fact that there's a bunch of different flavors in it, you're usually getting like individual ones at times, and then you can kind of trade those out as you like. If you are a big fan of the green and then somebody else likes the blue, you can swap your greens for the blues. Those are the two best flavors objectively, by the way. Don't even come at me with a purple. That's not good, it's basically medicine. Uh, the watermelon ones lose a bit of points too. Cherry's fine. Green, top notch though. I think those are great. Junior Mints. I just, Junior Mints for me have the gusher problem where like you eat, you bite into it and it like splooges in your mouth a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not about that. The flavor is fine. I don't want anything squirting into my mouth when I'm biting into it as a candy. I, I'm not a fan of that. Kit Kats, I think are objectively great. 
Um, just they somehow nailed something with the ability to break it into smaller pieces. It just makes it so that it's the right quantities of bars. If you bite straight into your Kit Kats without breaking them off, you are insane, and I have zero respect for you. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but you are insane. Um, you got to break it apart. Uh, you don't have to share it. That's that's ridiculous. That is all your candy bar. If you share your Kit Kat, you are a, a more generous person than I. Uh, Crackle. Is Crackle not just a crunch bar? Is it just the Nestle, like the, the Hershey equivalent crunch bar? I'm pretty sure it is. So they've got to be rated the same. Actually, I think Crackle's worse. I don't know why, but I just have worse associations with Crackle than Crunch Bar. I don't know which one came first. I don't know if this is a, you know an improved version or if this is a ripped off version or which way, but I still like Crackle's as much. I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you why. Laffy Taffy. I look, the banana ones are dragging this thing down an entire tier by themselves, but that would probably take it from like good to bad, but they got jokes. They got jokes, so they go up a tier. You know, it's, it's just you know a little more entertaining way to eat your candy when you you, know, you get points for uniqueness. Fun to visit experience. Laffy Taffy, you get jokes. That's how you learned a lot of your cheesy jokes as a kid through the backs of Laffy Taffy's from Halloween. You gotta bump it up a tier for that, even though the banana flavor was dragging it down a tier. It'll stay there. Uh, Lifesavers gummies. Is that even a Halloween candy? I associate that with like Christmas personally because I, I got lifesavers for Christmas as a child. Um, I think they're pretty good though. I don't really think they're Halloween candy, but objectively the candy itself is pretty fine. But I guess if I got these at Halloween, I wouldn't be mad. I just don't think they have like good packaging of these to be like distributable for Halloween stuff. Uh, milk duds. The flavor is really good, but the tediousness of eating these things is really dragging it down for me. I'm going to throw it into bad and admit that I'm being a little bit harsh in my judgments of candies here. Uh, and we've got a lot of middle of the rows. I'm being very conservative with my god tiers. Uh, we'll get there for sure. I've got some things that I'm going to think are god tier, but I'm going to put milk duds as bad just because it's so tedious to eat them. And it just sticks in your teeth and like it takes nine years to chew it. And like the flavor is good, but it's not good enough. Again, just not worth the effort. Milky Way. Milky Way is a little bit boring. It's kind of like it, it's it tastes great, but it's not exciting, which kind of drags it down. But I think just as a classic, as a classic Halloween candy, that gets at points. You know, you, you get given a Milky Way, you're like, of course I got given a Milky Way. Is this a less exciting Snickers? Yeah, but hey, it's a Snickers for people with peanut allergies, so you got to give it some props. Peppermint. I, I, I like peppermint, but like it's so boring, and like this is Christmas. This is, this is a Christmas candy. Get out of here in Halloween. This, this, no, sorry, you don't belong here. M&Ms, just plain regular M&Ms. They're good. You can't complain about regular M&Ms. They're fine. There's nothing too exciting. Take it or leave it. I, I'd eat them if they're around, uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not thrilled to get M&Ms here. Mounds, they got a leg up on Almond Joys for sure. I'm gonna put this as a great candy. I Again, we've got to another one that might be a little controversial. Uh, I think that mounds are pretty, pretty great. But if you don't like coconut, you're gonna hate them. They're like, again, one where you, you love it or you hate it, I think. Three Musketeers. All right, so I have very mixed feelings on Three Musketeers. If you asked me when I was like 11 how I felt about Three Musketeers, boom, God tier, no questions asked. And then when I was like 12, I traded all of my candies for Three Musketeers uh, one Halloween and ate like so, so many of them and got very, very ill to the point where eating one would then make me feel sick again. Uh, so I'm bumping it down. I'm bumping it down to great. It's losing two tiers because of how bad I associate that feeling with Three Musketeers now because I ruined them for myself. Uh, Neko Wafers. Uh, these are hot ass trash. Uh, I'm still not convinced that these aren't just chalk. I think they're just colored chalk. They just take like a, a thing of chalk and just like slice it lengthwise and let's do like, you know, deli style slicing. I think that's what Neko Wafers are. I'm pretty sure. I think that's their only purpose. Nerds? Nerds are fine. They're, they're good. There's a bunch of different varieties. It's always fun to eat a lot of small things. Plus, I recently saw a tweet that's, uh, I'm eating nerds, nerds because I have a craving for a, a aquarium gravel and this staves off the hunger, which is, I just think is hilarious. Um, so yeah, nerds are fine. Not my favorite, but there's a lot of variety. It's fun to eat just that many of a small thing. You know, it's like rice. Rice, you know, if you just gave me like a block of rice that was one single thing, it would be nearly as fun texture-wise and eating-wise as eating a ton of rice. Uh, now and laters, those are bad. 
Just like, what if we made Starbursts worse because their texture is so incredibly dense that you can't eat them? Like literally, a now and later is made, it's not meant to just you eat the whole candy. It's you get so tired of eating it that you have to wait and eat some later. That's what it is. That's the entire like marketing scheme behind your product. You've got a problem, bad. It's not gross because like the flavors are actually pretty okay, but it's, it's just, it's bad. Payday, gross. Get, like, so I was going on about Mr. Goodbar, how they nailed that peanut to chocolate ratio. Payday went just absolutely overboard. Like, what if we just made it all peanut? Do you want to just eat a log of peanut with some other stuff in the middle? Too many peanuts. The texture profile is totally thrown off. Way too nutty. Not a fan. Not a fan of it. Plus, you will actually kill someone if they have a nut allergy. Peanut M&Ms. Again, that's one. That is great. They actually... I think I'll bump the one to excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna bump the one to excellent actually. They again nailed that nut to peanut butter ratio. That's what you gotta get right. You get too much, it's like Reese's cups. We'll get to those in a second, but like the big Reese's cups where there's like extra peanut butter in the middle, garbage. They've thrown off their ratio. They nailed their ratio. Don't mess with the formula. M&M's peanut, they nailed the formula. Popcorn ball. As a kid, you're never excited to get this. Like you'd, you'd put it gross. Depending on how offended you are, you might actually go hot ass trash. But I would think gross, but then like I actually kind of like them and like just a little bit. I would eat one and be pretty happy with it. I would never eat two of these in like one Halloween sitting. It would never happen. But I would eat one and be like, yeah, that was that was kind of different. I'm okay with that because it was, it, was, it was different. Uh, plus it's something you only get really at Halloween, which is kind of cool. So it gets actually a little bonus points for being like, ah, that's a Halloween thing. Bagged popcorn. Hot ass trash. I love popcorn, don't get me wrong. One of my favorite snacks. It's terrible to receive for Halloween and it loses all of its tier side. This would be an excellent or God tier snack, but as a Halloween candy, hot ass trash. The amount of times I've gotten like a movie theater butter popcorn as a child, just as a single pack, and the butter from that thing leaked into everything and just like ruined all the other candies, made it all gross and just looked nasty in the packaging. Not about it. That's like the, the snack that you get when somebody's like, Oh crap, trick-or-treaters are coming. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, you gra grab the popcorn that's been sitting in the pantry for a year. And that's what you get. That, no, not good. Pretzels? Look, god tier snack, in my opinion. Easily my favorite snack of all time, pretzels. It's not a candy. And as such, I cannot give it full points. It has to be bumped down to two tiers to great, solely because it is not a candy. I'm not ha unhappy if I get one at Halloween. I will eat my pretzels. I, I got like... Pumpkin and bat-shaped pretzels all the time when I, you know, I was a kid. Uh, those were great. I was happy to have them. They were a little too salty for pretzels, but hey, you know, I'm very picky with pretzels. Uh, but not a candy. Can't give you full points. Get dropped down a tier. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. God tier. God tier. It has the same problem as Three Musketeers. After I made myself absolutely sick of Three Musketeers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups were my next candy of choice to be my trade all of whatever you can to get as many peanut butter cups as you possibly can. Ate tons of them, made myself horribly sick to the point where to this day, thinking about eating Reese's peanut butter cup makes me nauseous. I'm currently getting nauseous as I talk about this topic because that's just the association I have. But once I actually start eating one, if I get past that mental block and actually put one in my mouth and eat it, I'm in love and I love it and I won't feel sick. I'll stop being sick and I'll just love and enjoy the taste of that peanut butter cup. That's how God tier they are. That even though just the thought of them makes me nauseated, actually eating one brings me so much joy that it goes back up to God tier. Reese's Pieces, they're pretty good. They're, they're great. I'll, I'll throw them up to a great. Again, you know, they've got a pretty good chocolate to peanut butter profile. A little bit too heavy in the peanut butter in my opinion, but pretty good. A nice little alternative to M&M's. Spice things up a little bit, you know. You throw those in with some M&Ms too, and you know, oh, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's a little bit of a surprise. If it's colorful, obviously it's an M&M, but if you got orange, yellow, or brown, you don't know. So, could be fun. Um, A&W Barrels. In, as one, eating a single one of these, I think is pretty good. But like, you're not gonna eat more than one and be particularly happy about it. It's not gross. It's a very unique candy, which kind of makes it pretty good. But just, I, I've never known anyone to eat multiple of these in one sitting. I'd be happy to have one here and again, but I never want a ton of them. Plus it's just kind of like a little dated, I think. Taffy. Okay, I'm rating this as Halloween taffy, which are gross. They're not quite hot ass trash, but they're gross. And you know those ones in like the red and black packaging, maybe occasionally purple, but mostly red and black packaging. I'm not sure what flavor they were really ever, but like they were just, they were thick, that they would leak out the sides because it was just like too much 
goo packed in one small little piece of paper. You got tons of them, I felt like, when you, you either got none of them or a million of them. And so as such, Halloween taffy in particular, objective of regular like saltwater taffy, that's pretty good stuff, but that's not Halloween taffy. Halloween taffy, pretty gross. Sixlets, sixlets, sixlets are good. I'm not entirely sure what they are, like slightly fruity M&Ms, I feel like. It's been a while since I had one, but I do remember liking them and them being kind of different. I'm pretty sure it's like a chocolate interior with like a, a candy coating, but I think it's like an actual candy coating where like it has slightly different flavor to it as opposed to just M&M, which is like a purely chocolate coating that's like colored. So I think I think that's how Sixlets work. Skittles? All right, we're, we're combining this with Sour Skittles, which Sour Skittles are God tier, but have to be eaten in small quantity, which makes them excellent. And the Skittles themselves also are excellent. I'm gonna put Skittles as excellent. There's a bunch of different varieties. You won't get too tired of it. Um, sour Skittles are absolutely God tier, except that you can't eat more than two or three packages of them without your tongue actually dissolving into nothingness. So that bumps it down to excellent. Smarties? Smarties are a meme. They're, they're, they're the candy that you, you twist up and then pretend to smoke as a child. They don't taste particularly good. They're like slightly better Necco wafers. Like Necco wafers are an abomination, but at least you can like do something funny with Smarties, which brings out a little bit of points, but like I guess the flavor's okay on Smarties. You know what? We'll upgrade it to just bad. We'll go to just bad for Smarties. They're not that bad. They, they taste okay. They're kind of fun, but just they're middling. They're not exciting. Uh, as you can tell, I definitely prefer chocolate-based things. You're kind of leaning there. You give me fruity things, it's not quite as high up. Uh, wax bottles, where like it's literal just sugar water inside of wax, and then you bite into the thing and drink it. And do you eat the wax? I always end up eating part of the wax. I don't think you're supposed to. I would imagine you're not. It's literal wax, though. No, get out of here. No, it's it's not. No, it shouldn't exist. This is this is again a, can, a candy that is just completely dated. If you're going trick-or-treating nowadays, I hope you don't get this. Well, hopefully you don't even go trick-or-treating this year, 2020. Take a break. Don't need candy much. Buy yourself some candy, watch some spooky movies, have a good time at home. Don't go out and trick-or-treat. Uh, but if you get given these anytime in this current decade, I, I don't know where you live, but it's probably like the Old West. That's my best guess. Uh, soda. No. No. Have you ever been given a can of soda trick-or-treating? It's not food. It's a drink, that's a problem. It's not Halloween-y, that's weird. It'd be super heavy in your pillowcases you're going around compared to all of your other candies. Just volume per, per like quality, it's not there. It's not, I don't even care what soda it is. You, you have top-notch soda, you put there and like you give me my favorite soda, doesn't matter. You're giving me a can of soda as I'm hauling this pillowcase of candy around door to door, it's getting shaken up. If it opens, it's a nightmare. If I open it, it's gonna explode, it's gonna be warm. No, don't give me pop, get out of here. Soda, sorry. Move to the Midwest, uh, Pacific Northwest, and uh, they say pop out here. Sour Package Kids, God tier. This is like one fruity candy that, boom, goes right up there. I love sour things. That sour things definitely get a boost. Sour Patch Kids are, again, I said Reese's were like my all-time favorite. Sour Patch Kids might be the candy I've literally eaten the most just sheer volume of in my lifetime. Quantity you can't compare because they're smaller, but like actual pound per pound, it's probably Sour Patch Kids, which was a nightmare for my teeth. Still paying that uh, that penalty to this day for eating all those Sour Patch Kids, but uh, absolutely a god-tier snack. Sprees? I think sprees are, sprees are pretty good. There's like, I, I think they don't have chewy sprees. I really like the chewy sprees. Um, but original sprees were fine too. The, chewy definitely gets a bump here. I'm like, if it was regular sprees, it'd probably be bad. If it's chewy, it'd probably be great for me. And so I'm going to go with a compromise of nice right in the middle. Uh, sprees get a, a, an average of good here. Sugar daddy is it's just gross. It's, it's weird nowadays. Like it's, the context is just different now. I feel like I'm not a fan of that. It's, it, it's, the taste is fine, but it's really just sugar. I'm not a fan. I don't even know that much about it. I remember not liking them and then not eating them for like decades. Uh, Twizzy Roll? Honestly, I think it's excellent. It's one that you can get tired of after you eat a bunch of them. But I was gonna say, they do have variety ones, but we have the variety ones down here. But I think Twizzy Roll just as itself holds. Like, honestly, like the ones wrapped in the paper like you see here, it tastes entirely different than the ones like in the foil in that little cardboard tray. I swear they taste different. I don't know why. Like the texture is different, but the flavor is probably pretty similar. But even then, a little bit different to me. These, these are pretty bad. The vanilla one is a nightmare. I, I, I just get that out of here. The flavored ones are all okay. They're fine. But the vanilla one is like actually brings it down to hot ass trash. But the rest of them bring it up to being okay enough to bring it up to just bad. Twix, god tier. That is a god tier item. They've nailed the ratio of chocolate to caramel to 
whatever the like cookie cookie that's what it is. I was like whatever the cookie is called it, it's called a cookie um they, they nailed it uh left twix versus right right twix is ridiculous that's, a, that's an abomination of a marketing scheme what they should have done now is make it so that like one of each twix like makes your tongue turn blue or is like spicy or a different flavor or something and then like you open it with a friend you each pick one like left or right one of you gets pranked that's what they should have done like it's trick or treat you get the trick or you get the treat easiest marketing campaign of all time absolutely fantastic if they wanted to still taste good so people don't even mind just make it turn their color their, their tongue a different color or something if you just have it look weird have the inside be green they can do that kind of thing with candy you know it's a little bit gross but like for the most part it would still sell it wouldn't taste any worse or anything so it'd be fine and then boom your marketing campaign is great you actually made something out of it call me up twix or whoever i don't know what brand owns twix but you uh want a million dollar uh marketing scheme there you go twizzlers Again, another one that's controversial, also a PNG, so it doesn't have a background, which is kind of weird. Um, I like Twizzlers a lot. Uh, that's another one that I, again, I'm going to rate it for it having other flavors too, and like the pull and peel ones that are fun. Um, but I, I like Twizzlers a lot. I can understand, I totally understand if you think I'm crazy with that one. Um, I get it, another controversial one, but I think Twizzlers are excellent. Warheads? Honestly, might be god tier just because of like the legacy that they have with like you daring your friends to eat them and like giving somebody a warhead for the first time, just seeing their reaction is always awesome. And I like sour things, so they go up there in my opinion. I'm not really one to sit there and just eat warhead after warhead because one, you would actually do an absolute massacre to your mouth and digestive system. But each one of them is like, it's got that early zing and just like it goes like sour punch right in the face. And then it kind of mellows out and becomes a pretty good candy. Um, so yeah, excellent. I stand by that one. Whoppers. I think Whoppers are great. And that's another one that like people's like, you know, malted choc chocolate coated malt balls, like what? But I like Whoppers. I don't know, something about them. They're fun to eat. They come in, like the packages of three and you can like squeeze the package, like pop one in your mouth. You're like, that was a don't, don't make that motion on camera. Nice. What are you thinking? Um, but yeah, I like Whoppers. I stand by it. Come at me if you hate Whoppers. I, I like it. York peppermint patties. They're good. They're good. I think they've got a good flavor profile. You know, if you like mint and chocolate, you'll like that. If you don't like mint and chocolate, you'll, you'll hate it. Um, but I think they did a good job with like the, the ratio of minty to chocolatey. If there was a little bit more mint, it'd be pretty gross, but there's just enough, just little enough mint that I think it's pretty solid. We already rated Taffy. Get out of here. You're gross. Baby Ruth. It's fine. I was never like excited about it. I was never sad about it. I would trade these away if people liked them a lot. Um, but they're fine. I don't really have that much of an opinion on Baby Ruth. They taste okay. I'm not, I'm not mad to eat one, but I'm not excited to either. Candy corn is the hottest of all trash. If, if I could just put this over here, if I could put a tier lower that was just the candy corn tier, it would go there. It's the worst. Uh, there is a constant debate from people. They're like, candy corn's good. I hate candy corn. Candy corn's great. I love candy corn. Candy corn's terrible. And people are very divided on candy corn, I feel like. Uh, almost got me in trouble at work the other week. Um, I uh, could not resist the opportunity to make a political joke when somebody posted a poll of like who likes candy corn and not. It was like, 52% dislike candy corn and 43% do like candy corn. I was like, that's pretty close to the 2020 presidential election polls. Just because something's orange, white, and an abomination doesn't mean that it's good because some people like it. And I was like, ah, we should roll that back. Maybe not get super political at work. Uh, but I couldn't resist, couldn't resist the joke. So I put in the, our little chat, I was like, uh, sorry, just so you know, I do respect all political opinions, no matter what you think, and that is true. Uh, you know, I respect you, I might disagree with you, but I do you know, respect you as a person. You're entitled to your opinion, even if I, if I may disagree with it. But I do stand by the opinion that candy corn is in fact an abomination. And if you do like candy corn, I do not respect that opinion. And probably not you, at least to a small degree, because you like this disgusting abomination of food. It's just colored sugar. Are half of these colored sugar? Maybe, but at least they try. Candy corn doesn't, it's just a massive quantity of it. It's just sugar. There's not enough flavor. The only thing it has going for it is that it's fun to eat in layers. Because you can like eat the white, eat the orange, and then leave the yellow. But it's just not a good candy. It's got okay texture, but the flavor doesn't exist. It's just boring. I hate candy corn. I don't know why. It, it, just, it grosses me out. I'm not a fan. Get out of here. You're gum. You're not a candy. It's fun gum. They did put a very good example of gum here because at least it's like the big roll of tape, which was fun to eat. So like that gets it a little bit better, but it's not a candy. It's not even food. It's, it, no, I'm sorry. You get you get gross just because of that. You'd be, you'd be good. Like you're a fine gum. But you get bad, or sorry, you get out of demoted to gross because you're just not candy, and I'd be kind of weirded out about it. Pixie sticks, they're bad. They are flavored sugar. That's all that they are. Again, so they lose points for you know candy corn purposes because they're just flavored sugar. At least there's different flavors. 
It is kind of fun to eat, but the risk of one breaking open is too great. And actually brings it actually gonna bring it down to gross. I'm gonna drop it down to gross just because if one of those opens in your pillowcase trick-or-treating, it's a nightmare. Gonna make everything else super gross. What are these things called? I forget. Runts? Is that what they're called? Runts are pretty good. That's actually pretty good. They're in a similar camp to Nerds and Spree, um, but I think that the different shapes add a lot. I'm not a fan of banana flavored candy, but the fact that they're shaped like bananas made them more fun to eat. So it gets to be good. Otherwise, it'd be, it'd be great if it wasn't actually banana flavored, but it gets to be good. Snickers? That's an excellent candy. Uh, it's just excellent. I think that, the, again, it's the perfect ratio of chocolate to nut to nougat. Um, it's basically what if we made Milky Way like slightly more exciting and less uh, nut allergy friendly. Uh, so rest in peace if you like uh, if you can't eat things with nuts. I'm sorry that you know your Milky Way variant got knocked down a peg to Snickers, but I do think it does elevate the candy itself having those nuts. Uh, oh, we do have Chewy Spree. What? Okay, Chewy Spree, you get excellent good Spree, you go to bad. Sorry, Spree, you got knocked knocked down a peg. That's what I said. I said I said original Spree was bad. Chewy Spree was up here and great, and I did the compromise. Chewy Spree, you go up there. I don't know why I like that texture. It's just, like it's like chewy and then like kind of dissolves, which would normally be kind of gross, but like, I don't know. Chewy Spree just nailed it. I feel like they nailed it. There's something about the chewiness of it that's just like slightly different. It's like a firm chew and you just get a little bit different there. I don't know, I like it. Starburst. Starburst are great. Um, they're good based on just this flavor profile of Starburst, like the original like yellow, pink, red, orange. I think orange is the best flavor. I don't. Don't know why some people hate on orange Starburst. I think it's the best flavor. Uh, red secondary, uh, then pink, then yellow. Uh, used to be totally backwards. I used to think yellow was god tier, and then I realized yellow just doesn't really taste any like anything long term. But there are sour Starburst, and sour Starburst are like excellent or god tier to me. And so I'll put I'll put Starburst in great. There's a bunch of different variants of them. I think Starburst it's got like a really good texture. Um, they're kind of fun to open. If I'm being quite honest, that does give some points. Is I just like how the paper is folded nicely on a Starburst, and it's fun to open. Uh, Tootsie Pops, they're good. You know, they're a classic. You can't be too mad at them. There's a variety of flavors, so you're going to find something you like well enough. The Tootsie Roll inside is actually pretty good. It does not get absolutely botched like the Blow Pops do. Um, but Tootsie Pops, those are pretty solid. This actually might go up to great. This might actually go up to great. It's got, I have a lot of, like, nostalgia for them. It was a, a candy that I got a lot, again, at Halloween, but also, like, from, like, my grandparents and such. They'd give me Tootsie Pops. You'd open up to see if you found, like, the star. Oh. If the like the star was on, it was just like good luck. So it was just always just a fun little thing to do opening that. So uh, Tootsie Pops hold a lot of nostalgia for me, and that gives them some extra bonus points for sure. But that is my comprehensive tier list. Uh, absolutely objective, the correct answers. We've nailed it first try. Uh, you cannot possibly disagree with these. Actually, you definitely can. And if you want to, let me know your thoughts on what you think about how crazy I am about candy. I did have a lot of weird nostalgia coming out for these candies and knew a little bit more about them than I might have thought going into this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a fun time. And if you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite candy is in the comment section down below. Until the next video, hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.